Hey everybody, it's me. It's daily vlog time. I am coming to you today from shorelines of Lake Apopka, uh, north of Orlando. Um, I haven't had a chance to fish in here, but I hear the crappie and bass fishing is awesome. But it's actually a rather large lake here in Florida. Now granted, they call a lot of things lakes down here, which are basically just retention ponds and things like that. But this one's actually a lake. It's pretty nice. Now, the whole reason for today's video is I want to talk about something. You guys hear something come out of my mouth all the time on my channel, and it's called chasing bullshit. And I always tell you not to do it. Now, it's a philosophy I have, and it's made my life a lot happier, a lot more content, and I'm not as miserable all the time. Now, if you guys are paying attention nowadays, everyone is basically pushed to pick one side of the fence or the other, you know, one tribe or the other. Everyone wants to belong to one little thing because I think, honestly, they're just not that happy in their lives. So they're trying to find something that just appeals to them so they can concentrate on that instead of what they need to for their own, for their own selves. Um, that's what I call chasing bullshit. If it's politics, if it's agendas, if it's you know, social medias, all that stuff out there. Um, everyone is quick. I mean, and media knows it. Media is all over it. They know that every all they have to do is throw out a snappy headline, and boom, they got you. Just feed on that emotion because they know no one's actually going to read into anything, or actually, you know, investigate or converse with someone else, you know, about it. And the thing is, is most people nowadays only hang out with someone that's going to feed into their own thoughts and their own ideas and not challenge them. And if they challenge them, no matter what side of the fence or tribe you're on, they don't converse about it. They just yell and scream. And I'm not into that. Um, basically, BS to me is a lot of the stuff that you guys see out there. It's basically turn on your damn TV or pull up social media or any of that stuff. That's why I say don't chase it because I see that 90 plus percent of the people around me are miserable, quick to react, depressed, have anxieties, have problems, everything else. Why? Because they're following that stuff. Um, does any of that stuff affect your life that day right then and there? Probably not. Probably not ever going to. But the thing is, is, you know, things have turned into everything's quick reactionary, quick social media. YouTube, for instance. How many videos do you watch that only goes with your exact thinking and gets your reaction on it to jump on another tribe? Come on, I know a lot of you are guilty of it. Now, I heard something today um, from back up in New York that brought this up, and it has to do with guns. Now... Now, I knew those as mergansers or snake birds, but down here they have another name for them. But this came up and got me and another person conversing. Now, this other person doesn't know guns, doesn't know anything, you know, about them or anything. And basically what it is, is there was a, a story coming out in New York where pistol permits, new applicants for pistol permits, they want, the state wants to have access to your Facebook. Now, the first... I call it the happy unicorn rainbow. I can understand the reasoning behind it. Okay, it's a quick headline, boom. We want to know what's, you know, watch people's Facebooks so we can tell because, you know, some bad people have done some bad shit out there and posted it on social media beforehand. I get it. I really do. But the thing is, is what loopholes, now if you look into the story, what loopholes does it bring into? Who's going to, you know, what happens if you got some guy who gets his pistol permit, but he believes that, you know, the ancient Egyptians, you know, came from another planet through a stargate and built everything a millennia ago. Stargate? Okay, so I'm kind of talking about a TV show. But people have all kinds of different ideas and opinions and thoughts and all kinds of things. What's one person's crazy is another person's sane. Now, I get the idea behind it, but that opens up a whole my, you know can of worms on getting into people's you know lives privacy and what you consider back and forth and I can I get where it came from I really do and I understand the meaning behind it but that's where the headlines jump in they get that first initial you know feel-good reaction and they want to get that 
you know, they want to set people off. They want to get people going on it. They don't want people to actually think about things and get into it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, see, they're with me. Don't chase the bullshit. But it's different things like that. That aside, guns and all that stuff aside or anything else, there's a lot of that stuff out there. How many of you, you know, basically open up your Facebook or turn on the news and within 20 minutes you're just cussing or mumbling under your breath or any of that stuff? It's contagious, isn't it? Bet you it doesn't exactly put you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Then you get to work and, you know, the employees are doing this. Some big bald guy on YouTube rants about people and their work ethic and all that crap. You know, stuff happens. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not Mr. Happy, Happy, Chip, Chip and everything else. Chim, cheery every day or anything like that. But at the same time, I don't dwell on shit. The only thing I dwell on is what is going to make my life better, make my family's lives better and basically get me through the day and look towards my goals and what I want to do in my life. So when I tell you guys don't chase the bullshit, what I'm saying is, is basically don't chase, don't dwell on stuff that is not going to personally affect you that day, that moment, right then and there. Is there anything, I mean, seriously, uh, you know, instead of, there's so many stories, so many things going on in this world that you could learn from or you can invest your time in that doesn't involve all this other bullshit from, you know, even politics. Invest your time. Going out and standing on a street corner and yelling and screaming because that's a group of people you belong to. And do you know what you're yelling and screaming about? No, but I belong to a group and we're going to yell and scream. Okay. But that's the thing where I find a lot of people just want to be part of a tribe, be part of a group because they're not happy in their own lives. I see it on my social media and everything. I, the, some of the people I see the loudest on my social media, I know them personally, and I know how miserable they are. But this gives them something to redirect it from themselves to something else instead of actually starting here and taking care of that first and making their lives better. And then they'd be a whole lot happier. So I'm going to leave it at this right here. Again, do not chase the bullshit out there, people. Live your lives. Smile. Look for the little things. The stuff that is going to just make your day better. Is it all going to be sunshine and rainbows? Hell no. But it can be a lot better if you let it and tune out a lot of that other crap. But otherwise, I'm going to leave you guys with this awesome view. Bet you there's some big lizards right down in here. Go swimming and find out. No, I'm good. But otherwise, that's today's daily vlog. Tomorrow is the last one before my vacation. Now, the vacation sun starts Sunday, and I will probably vlog one more time on Sunday as we're taking off. But I'm going to be away for a week. So you guys are going to have to miss me. I know, I know. I'm hard to miss. Or you, you will miss me, won't you? just a little bit but okay enough of that but otherwise don't chase the bullshit rock your life everything else if i can do it you can do it because i am one stubborn bull and i can still do it so you can do it but until then hit that little bell down there let's get the notifications let's get some of this positivity and share it with friends get it out there so our friends stop chasing the bullshit maybe we can start a little we can start our own tribe how's that of just no bullshit but until then, love you guys. Hope you have a great weekend. Rock your life. Everything else. Subscribe. Thumbs up. And to my couple buddies. Thumbs down. I know. Whatever. Whatever makes you happy. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.